Welcome everyone, this is Evelyn, and lots of great, really interesting messages. Um, now the, the downloads I'm bringing you are from May 9th through today. So there's a lot of stuff that came through. I do have the abbreviated read on the table with the Syrian Starseed deck and the Rider Waite. And I actually pulled some cards from the Syrian Starseed randomly yesterday, which I have a message from that too. So I was just doing my meditation for you guys. And first I was seeing a wheel spinning and then I was getting stuck, you know, like getting stuck in a gear. And I was noticing that the wheel was turning counterclockwise, not clockwise. And then they were showing me literally a bike with gears and how when you're trying to change gears, you know how sometimes you have to backpedal to kind of free up the gear in order for it to switch? That's the energy that they were showing me. And then they were coming in with, um, and St. Germain came in as well. A lot of the energy that's coming up from these downloads has to do with source energy and the confusion about what to believe and all, and you know, you know, what guides, masters, and angels are real for you. Um, is it good for you to connect with one or the other? Is it better for you to connect directly with God? So, you know, source energy is source energy, and we're all fractals of that source energy, but you have to remember it's not just the earth, right? Source energy is everything, right? All of the multiverse. And so we're just one fractal of that multiverse. And when we try to connect with the energy of source, it's so overwhelming in these avatars that we're in that it's very difficult to get to that high vibration. And so that's why other subsource energies come in to connect with us, like guides, angels, and masters. So remember, too, that source is everything, the positive and the negative, the dark and the light, just like the movie The Shack, where that one point where they say, you know, would you choose one child over the other, even if the one child's being bad, you know, you still love them both. So there's that energy coming through and I am going to pull, and Spirit's connecting with me very strongly on this. And I'm pulling from the Ascension deck, which has a lot of guides, angels, and masters in it. And if a specific guide or angel or master doesn't come up, maybe they're guiding you to try to connect directly to source energy, which you can, but you're not, you know, in order to hold that full energy of source, creator, um, you know, most of us can't hold that energy for very long. So let's see what comes up for you guys to see what we need to connect with right now. What's for your best and highest good right now? This is clearing before. All right, so from the Ascension deck here, what is or who is the best connect for you at this time for your highest good whether it means to ascend or not to ascend, because that will come up in this message as well. And um, what it is to ground and integrate. Um, are you more shaman? Are you more ET? All of these energies were coming up today. So for the Twin Flames watching this video, or anyone who's watching really, what is the message that's best for you? And we have Commander Ashtar coming up, which is 39, which is the Knight of Cups. And the affirmation is I connect with Commander Ashtar to serve the universe. Um, and again, Ashtar is, I believe, a group command. It's not actually a being. Um, and also Ashtar, Ash in Pleiadian is bright light, and Tar is, means throne. So this throne of bright light as we're talking about source energy. So actually source is coming in as Commander Ashtar. Very interesting. And this one says, Commander Ashtar is in charge of the intergalactic fleet, spaceships that patrol and protect this universe. His mothership enters Earth through Machu Picchu, the two-way interdimensional portal that he oversees. Um, Commander Ashtar is connecting with you through this card and inviting you to view the planets, stars, and galaxies with cosmic eyes. And the word cosmic always comes up significantly to me because my father's nickname was Cos, and my dog growing up's name was Mikey, as in microscope. And here we're talking about cosmic eyes. Breathe in the subtle energy and wisdom of the, of the stellar world and allow it to affect your chakra system and ignite your consciousness. You're blessed for this card of expanded enlightenment and a call to intergalactic service. 
okay? So the um, there's two more cards that want to be seen, but first the sun needs to be seen in the underlying energy. So again, the sun, the central sun, the son of God, which is all of you, sons and daughters of God, not just Jesus, but you too. Jesus was showing us the template of what we can be. The sun is the navel chakra of this universe. It radiates the divine masculine principle unto us. Choosing this card suggests the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action, protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. Your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light, be true to yourself, and act decisively today. The affirmation is I radiate the golden light and take decisive action today. And this is in the underlying energy, so you may have been taking decisive action recently or being more in your masculine energy. So besides Commander Ashtar, which is also coming up as God today, we have Lady Portia, 32, and Lady Nada, 45. 32 is the Six of Wands, right? The journeyman who comes in to end the war. And then the 45 is the Five of Cups, which has to do with sorrow and disappointment and dealing with some kind of loss or regret. And we have Lady, I'm not going to read them both, but here's Lady Portia, if you can focus in on that enough to read it. And then... Lady Nada. So they're, but they're bringing up the energy of bringing in good news, right? To heal the sorrow. Lady Portia is, and Saint Germain, I told you, came up. Lady Portia is Saint Germain's partner. Um, and again, she came up, I think, the last read, Lord of Karma. And again, acting with um, justice, which is truth and balance, and to be open hearted and fair minded and non judgmental. And Lady Nada reminding you that um, she's the twin flame of Jesus' higher self, Sananda, on this card, master of the seventh ray of ritual and magic, with ceremonies that call in mighty forces are important, so you're reminded to bring people together to raise great light. And here's that bright light coming in again. And again, she's called the priestess in the temple of love in Atlantis. And earlier today, Atlantis was coming up as at LA, which is the angels. And then the N for me is the Christ energy. T is source and the I S of Sophia. Lady Nod is bringing back ancient healing methods, helping the development of intuition, telepathy, wisdom, and acting for justice. And again, so we have just justice again in both cards and then Ashtar or the seat of bright light, the throne of, of source energy here. And the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, which is like kind of like the Knight of Wands, but they're going forward. The Knight of Wands is usually faced going back, right? Running in to save the day. Whereas the Six of Wands is the journeyman coming in to bring good news and lead the way by example and, and bringing good news like the end of the war. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, right? Being love bringing this good news in a more physical, passionate way. And then in order to end the sadness and disappointment and regret with truth and balance here. So that's what's coming up with these three guys here. I connect with Commander Ashtar to serve the universe. I am fair-minded, open-hearted, and non-judgmental. I accept and practice my healing, spiritual, and psychic gifts. All right, let's, let's put these guys up here. Lady Portia, and Lady Nada. Okay, so I had, I had, I had done a read back on the 9th. And by the way, today is May 14th, but the Hierophant and the Hermit was coming up five, uh, 9 to 5. Was I actually posted my Instagram with 9 to 5, the song. And... On this day, the word Sima came up, S-I-M-A, which means uh, bent upwards. It's also a layer of the earth's crust. And Heart TV was coming up in this message with piles of rocks, the emperor and the empress, and 98, right, human temperature. Um, Sima also means cord and sister, 
and several other things, water and the feather at the end of the arrow shaft. And feathers have been coming up a lot lately. Yes, Ma, or Mother, Heart TV, with a pile of rocks, the human temperature, and the leap of the Empress teeing up with the Emperor. And singing rocks also came up again. So there was a place, we actually have a place called Ringing Rocks, I think it's called, not Singing Rocks, I always want to say Singing Rocks, Ringing Rocks. And I had a picture of myself in those rocks, and I posted it with, um, I think it's Hosanna Hazana that has, when the rocks begin to sing, even the rocks will begin to sing, right? When every voice is stilled, the noise will still continue. It's 3.39 on the clock, which is the Empress and then the Knight of Cups. The rocks and stones themselves will start to sing. Hosanna, Hosanna. So that's coming up again and getting big connection. And 339 is, they're giving me a prompt too because 338, and it's 339 now, is one of my special numbers, 338. And now we have 338 to 39, which is the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And again, three is Mother Earth as well, right? So her and her children. So that's all I wanted to bring up from that message. So we're going to start on the 10th now. All right, so May 10th was Friday. And I was posting something in bed that morning. I was, you know, I'm usually in bed for like an hour in the morning because I'm doing some posts. But um, I, I got up at 1019 that morning, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. But I noticed specifically because... Um, I 